Hello and welcome back. We know now quite some things about our Arduino. We know how to read an input, we know how to write an output, digital input, digital output. We know how to use the serial monitor. We know uh, we know how to delay things. Yeah? Now let's start with an idea and say, okay, now we have we have also done a light with a button. Let's do a stairway light. Stair light. Yeah? Press the button, should be lit for some time and then automatically turn off. Yeah? So we do have read input, we can read the button, we can turn on the LED, we can turn on the light and we can wait. So it should be no problem, right? I will start based on my previous program again. So I will save it as and now for I will call it stair light. Pick. Let's see what I do not need. I simply delete all of it. Back. The button state I would need. I am starting the serial monitor, I'm starting the serial output because maybe I want to do some output. I will also write the init done. That's not a bad idea to see if the Arduino was coming up. Okay. Uh, here I read the button state with an integer variable. What do I need to do? If button state, so if something was pressed, then something needs to happen. What needs to happen? Digital write. Digital write. Yeah. LED. Pin, of course. Hi. So here, turn on the LED. Lull. Turn, turn on, turn on, turn on the LED. Okay. Clear. And now, what's next? Delay. For some milliseconds. And I want, I also want to do this with a compile. Time constant, let's say just for test reason, I will use five seconds. Okay, so we delay and then here, right, wait, wait, and then I turn off the lead. And if nothing, I do nothing. If the button was not pressed, I don't need to do anything. Okay. That I can read a little bit. This should do the trick. I hope. So uh, if I to see a little bit what's going on, yeah, I will add some silver prints. print button was pressed wait for wait for it <laughs> serial print like that serial print seconds So it should write, every time I press the button, it should write, button was pressed, wait for five seconds, done, after five seconds. 
Okay. So let's see. I start to download, upload. Sorry, upload this to the to the uh, Arduino to my Uno. Flashing. I will open the serial monitor. In it done, press the button. Button pressed, wait for five seconds, button is light, done, off. Really? It's working. Yeah. Press the button a second time. Ah, wonderful. Yeah. Okay, we can. This I don't like, I like, I'll make an explanation mark even. Uh, download. In it done. Wait for five seconds. And done with the explanation mark. Great. Yeah. If I change this to 30 seconds, okay. download. Let's see what is happening. In it done. Press the button. Wait till 30 seconds. See? It's working. Now it takes a little bit time. 30 seconds are quite long. So we can even easily adjust. We can even easily adjust the value by changing this constant here. Good. So, so far, that's great. Now, somebody would have the idea, I want that, uh, I'll change it back to five seconds again. Yeah. And I want to extend the period. Okay. I want to extend the period. I press the button. Wait for five seconds. I press it now. Should wait again for... Oh, it's already done. Yeah, There's no restart after five seconds. There's no restart. Uh, but no, 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 it's just turning off. Yeah, I cannot prolong the light. Yeah, So it's a reasonable feature, right? Right? So let's try to code this. But for sure... If you think about it, you will notice ah, we cannot do it now. Ende yeah? Gelände, I would say in German, yeah? means end of territory, over. We cannot do it. With our knowledge, we cannot code this function that the press during, during uh, the, the running of the delay is, is prolonging. The light. Why is this? Because this delay just sits there and waits. It's just waiting, nothing more. It does not recognize any button because the code is stopped here. Yeah. Next thing that happens is here. It will not even read the digital input because, yeah, it's not even reading the digital input. Hmm. What to do? Okay. Here we have to do a little bit more sophisticated approach. Yeah. Now I tell you something about a function you can use. Yeah. This function is called millis. Millis. It's written like this. Millis. This function is returning the amount of milliseconds which are passed since the Arduino came on. Okay. It has no argument. Pack, pack. And it is returning a so-called long and even an unsigned long. Okay. 
milliseconds. What is an unsigned long? I just said an, an integer is a is a number one zero one two three. Yeah. Unsigned, an unsigned int would be really from zero to uh sixty four thousand whatever. Yeah. An integer does have in on, on our Arduino an integer does hold sixteen bit. A long does hold 32 bit. Yeah. So a long can hold much bigger numbers. Yeah. 32 bit. 32 bit. How how much is this? Yeah. 32 2 raised by the power. 2 raised by the power of 32. Wow. Yeah. Four billion two hundred ninety four million nine hundred sixty seven thousand two hundred ninety six. That's the amount of numbers which can be held by a long variable. Yeah. Why? There is a separate video about this. You should see uh, a hint on the top corner about it. So yeah, thirty two bit number does have that amount of different states. Yeah. And an unsigned 32-bit value can hold from 0 to 4,294,967,295. Yeah. Plus 0 is exactly this amount of, of different, different numbers. Okay. If we if we would use an unsigned integer, an unsigned integer as only have a sixteen bit, yeah, two raised by the power of sixteen is sixty five thousand five hundred thirty six. So, if we would use an integer here as return value of this milliseconds, yeah, this means after sixty five seconds, because after sixty five thousand five hundred thirty six milliseconds. This would again be zero. It would start over. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, counting up to sixty-five thousand five hundred thirty-five, and then starting at zero again. Yeah. At this long, so two raised by the power of thirty-two, we have this amount of milliseconds available. Yeah. What does it mean? Divided by one thousand. That's the seconds. That how many seconds we could count divided by 3600. That's the hours 1193 hours yeah. divided by 24. That's the days 49.7 days 7 1 and something. Yeah. So after roughly 50 days. This will go and this will have an overflow. So if our Arduino would run more than fifty days, the milli uh, milliseconds here, the milliseconds value, is again somewhere zero. So this will rarely ha rarely happen. So our Arduino is starting up. The millis will grow and 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 grow. Yeah, and after fifty days, they will. Be at zero again, but then again, grow and grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. Okay. To 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 show you what is inside these milliseconds, yeah, I will simply make here a serial print milliseconds. I will do it like this, milli. Seconds serial print seconds. print line. I do even a print line. Download it. Let's have a watch on the on the serial monitor. What is going on there? Oh a lot of things. Here you see the milliseconds value is growing and 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 growing. Right now, 10 seconds have already passed. And this value, 
this value we can use to save our our time when the button was pressed okay so this I want to do now I will not call this milliseconds I will call this millis button pressed okay and of course I will not assign it here I will only assign it if the button is pressed so millis button pressed equals the function of millis every time I press the button millis button pressed is millis okay All right here saved value milliseconds this I don't need this I don't need this delay I don't need and here millis button pressed saved value that many milliseconds Now, now we know when the button was last time pressed. Okay. And now I just, just to distinguish if uh, millis, the current value of milliseconds, minus millis button pressed. So if the, if the time between now and the last time the button was pressed is still smaller than this light time then what I need to do digital right LED pin high it should light because the last button press it was not that long time ago if it was long ago, else comment it, turn on LED, else I will turn it off. Turn off LED. Okay. Should work. So I'm saving when the button was pressed. Yeah. I'm comparing the actual time with the button press time and if it is not too long ago, I will turn on the LED. If it's long ago, the LED will be off. Okay. Download. Let's see what's happening. Okay, in it done. Press the button. Oh, it's light. There's light. And it, it's off again. Working, working. Yeah. Press the button. Yeah. Now, it, after some time, I press the button. You see, there are, you see, even the output, the output of the, of the serial monitor, if I press the button, you can see it's stored, saved value, 36936. Yeah. Press the button, 43. Press the button, 45. Press the button, 47, 48 nearly. Press the button. And here I can manage that this stays on. Yeah. So now my program is reacting still on my button press. This is sometimes necessary. Yeah? This is sometimes necessary because you usually there is some task going on on your Arduino, yeah, which needs to be handled, and it cannot just sit there and wait and and leave it like it is just now without mon without monitoring. Yeah? So this is a usual way of how to do it. There can be done some improvements in this program. Yeah. 
For instance, what I don't like is if I keep the button pressed that this is running in the serial monitor. Yeah? I don't like it. Yeah? We could again see if the button was pressed. Yeah? So I can again add something, add a, a new value, a static int. old button state the old button state the old button state is here the button state I remember the last the last thing yeah and here I say if button state and not old button state because this means this press is new huh? let's see if this is working do we have any issue no looks good in it done press the button now it's just one time okay and it takes five seconds then it's turned off and again press the button press the button so it will notice every new button press yeah. and you see this here here I did only press one time this is again this bouncing yeah. this little fella seems to have a, a real quite a problem with bouncing yeah. some are better some are worse typical issue but now it's only one time. Only the first button press is done. Okay, so that's it. How to write a responsive uh, program while waiting. So the Arduino is not doing nothing. The Arduino is still evaluating what's going on in the outside world. Okay. Your task now, your task now is to see if you can code somehow if you can code somehow uh, the function that you can turn it on yeah like this it should automatically turn off also like this with an adjustable value maybe yeah and you should turn it on and be able to turn it off during the light time yeah so not prolonging not prolonging the the light but turn it off again yeah if it's lit turn it off if it's not lit light it and automatically turn it off if no button press since amount of time so this is how it should work yeah press the button I now adjusted 10 seconds so after 10 seconds no touching anything it should should automatically turn off like the stair light before like this yeah. or press the button it turns on and if you want to turn it off press the button turning off yeah. so this is the function good luck with this thanks for your attention See you next time. Hear you next time.